But look at that, you can just see like pure joy screaming, woo! I'm Dan Noakes and I'm gonna break down old footage. Okay, this is back when I was like 17, going on 18, still in high school. I made this video with my dad, I actually recorded it with my iPhone on a TV because I didn't have any way to capture it for digital. So this is just showing, you know, a bunch of clips, like getting people like amped up for it. It's, it has a cool soundtrack, it's the Souls of Mischief, but I can't play it on YouTube. So that was a, like a long step down rail. Lincoln Loop, I used to do those a lot, Lincoln Loops. Flat down flat rail, so that was unnatural. And then that was switch to natural, switch to switch, and then switch onto another rail, flat rail. Switch 270, like this is all at Brighton. Uh, rodeo, I used to do those a lot, learn those in Park City, the water ramps. Oh, that, you know, that was a, a gap. Like disaster, I think they call it. Switch 270, that was Alta again. This was a cool setup in Alta. I think it was my idea, I'm gonna take credit for it. Put the rail on top of that little cliff. That little cliff's not there in the winter. That last shot is the rodeo. Oh yeah, there's one more shot. This is the gate at Alta. So that was like iconic. You know, we used to go to Alta all the time in the preseason. Oh, here is a cliff Alta. This is actually in college. That's so like 2011. It was about the same time period, 2011. That's at Snowbird, made a jump. Me and my friend Derek, 360. Had a big in run, and then you kind of lost all your speed right there. That was just like a 180, no grab. This jump, this was at Alta College again. This is 360. That, I think that jump is Pyramid Gap. I don't know if it's Chaz, it might be just Pyramid, but it's like, a jump just to the landing of pyramids. Cork 720, no grab. I wasn't really good at grabs, but um, sometimes I had that trick dialed down. Like I was able to do it in the park just sometimes. Sometimes I was able to grab a uh, tail. This was at Sun Valley. So I, that jump was cool. This is at Boreal. This is like 2013, terrible snow year. Uh, just like a switch up. Okay, this, this clip. It's like my dad's favorite clip. This was like right across the street from Alta. It's a run called Two Tree. And this was Christmas Day, I think 2012. And um, as you can see, there's like tons of powder. It's kind of back in this day, there wasn't too many people going out there. So like right now, it'd probably all be tracked up by this time. But look at that, you can just see like it, it was deep that day, so like when you when you got into it, you could totally like have it hit your chest every time, or like what, you know that was head high. So I was just like super stoked that I was able to capture this on film. Oh, you can just see the face shots, like face shot after face shot. Like my face is covered, like it's covering my nose. Oh, it just felt so good. Like oh, I love. I mean Utah. Like has it, it's unreal when it snows in Utah like that. I mean, oh, I miss it. I miss that place. Just the skiing there is so good. You just see my face, like pure joy, screaming, woo! And that's that's what it's all about. Okay, this is this is like a really really old clip. Like I think I filmed it in like 2007 ish, maybe even 2006. But that was a cliff. That's Bishop's Cliff. There's Brighton, there's like a rodeo, Brighton, five. I mean, this is terrible, terrible quality, so I apologize. You can't even tell what that is, but that was a cork seven. I actually did grab the tail on that. Here's some powder shots. This was actually filmed May 1st. Like in Utah, I usually get a storm, pretty good snow. There's a cork seven off a of jump. I, I didn't even land that one. 270 to fakey. That was like in college. I actually think all this was filmed around college time, like college time is like, you know, 2006 or, it's just, this is like a run at, at Alta, like when it all closed down. 
I love this shot right there. Boom, right there, just that powder. Like, so that was before just big powder skis. And so you're still skiing powder with regular skis. And so you, you go deep, I think. Okay, this one I worked at, I worked at Sundance and there was this film competition thing and hardly anybody entered it. Um, and I entered it, so I like took some footage with my old like, Hi8 camera <laughs> and just made made an edit and submitted it. I actually loved working at this place. I thought there's a lot of good people. And I do miss them. But so, so though that is not me. Sorry. Like th these were the instructors and their style with you know carving technique is pretty on point. Yeah, they're they're good skiers. You see the guy like leading, he wrote the book on how to like, for PSIA, he wrote some book, I think. And he's just really good. Okay, so this is where you see me. So I had to put a snowboard there just to give like diversity. Okay, there's me. You know, do some rail tricks. This, this is a box. But I had some time on, you know, the boxes and stuff. That was it. So you can see when I was younger, there was more of the freestyle skiing, the park skiing, not just in the backcountry. We used to go up to Alta preseason every single year. In October, it would usually snow, and that's when we would go up and we would set up a rail. I was I was one of two skiers, so my friend Eric and I, we were the only skiers that would go up there. And that was back in the day where you know, new school skiing with twin tips was just getting started out. So I like when I started doing rails, I did not have twin tips. I was just doing them on very skinny skis. <laughs> Back in those days, if you stayed on skis like I did and like my friend Eric did, it was kind of a rare thing because everybody made a transition to snowboarding. I remember we went on a ski vacation and I told my dad, hey, I want to rent a snowboard. I want to snowboard. And we, I remember going into the rental place and we were waiting in line, it was packed. And my dad, you know, we're waiting there. <laughs> And then he, he comes, he goes somewhere and then he comes back to me and he says, you know what? They're all out of snowboards. <laughs> and so he gave me the pair of skis. So I really didn't have a choice. I'll never know if there were snowboards there or not, but I'm just grateful that my dad did not give me a snowboard. Thanks for watching this video. This was a little bit different than the other types of videos. Please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't. It definitely helps. So. Thank you for watching and there'll be more, so stay tuned.